talk to you today about making reality match the marketing, um, which is basically the story of a re revised syllabus. And I worked with ATC language schools to uh, revise the syllabus to make sure we were delivering what we said we were delivering. Um, but I also like to call this, for the purpose of today, two years of work shoved into 12 minutes. So it's going to be fast. <laughs> so expectations versus reality. Um, it's a well-worn meme at this stage. You book something, or you buy something, or you go somewhere, and the expectation doesn't always match up. Or you make a cake, and the expectation doesn't really match up. Or you open the biscuit tin, and it's for sewing. And you're like, oh, man, I don't believe it. Um, so when was the last time your expectations as a client were met or exceeded? I was going to get you to discuss this, but actually we had Lorraine talk about it earlier. Uh, so you're not going to discuss it, but you'll see that a lot of what I talk about has come up already. I promise I didn't nick it throughout the day. This is not why I'm going last. <laughs> so to give you um, context, uh, for our syllabus and why we put it together. We have, ATC has eight junior summer centres. The largest centre is over 600 students, that's in UCD. The smallest centre is about 100 students. We're in Kilkenny, Limerick, Maynooth, and then in various centres around Dublin. The resources vary in each centre, so some centres have loads of technology, PCs in every classroom, interactive whiteboards, and then in other centres, it's a blackboard and a piece of chalk. Um, the student demographic is also quite different in each centre. So uh, in our youngest centre, it's 10 years of age to 12 years of age. And then we go to middle school in our bigger centres, 11 years of age up to 16 years of age. And then we also have students who are 17, 18, are, are young adults. 5,000 or more students pass through our doors. This is just in the junior centres uh, from June to August. That's a lot of people to keep happy and make sure that they, they get what they expect. So I want you to call out to me the client. We've, we've different types of clients. We have parents, teachers, and agents. And I tend to think of them as clients, but separate clients to learners. So I want you to shout out to me, what do parents, teachers, and agents expect from the school? <coughs> excellence. Value for money, excellence. Anything else? Safety. 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 None of these are on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Progress. <laughs> Progress, yes. That's on the list. Anything else? Success. Success. Okay. And what about learners? What do you think learners expect? Fun. Fun. Good time. Fun. Okay, so Good time. More like it. Obviously, I understand learners much more than I understand uh, adults. <laughs> <laughs> so, I find that generally the expectations are the same, they're just prioritised differently or thought about from a different angle. Mm -hmm. So our learners want fun and engaging tours, but that's kind of the same as immersion in the culture. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, they want new friends from their own and other countries. Again, that's, that's kind of like interaction and nationality mix. They want lots of opportunities to speak. And we find that parents and teachers in particular, that is like top of their list, they come to Ireland to speak. Speaking, 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 and practicing. And the reason ATC's clients expect this is because this is what ATC sells. You come to our school to get as much communication practice as possible. And this is what we want to deliver. And progression. So we find that students 12 years of age understand the concept of progression and are they getting better just as much as their teachers do. So they want to see that as well. So, the reality of summer courses. The coach exploded. <laughs> Nobody's listening in the tour. They're all snatching. <laughs> Somebody threw the pack lunch in my face. Hordes of students testing at the same time. You might have 250 students on a Monday morning all into a room all tested together, quick, 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 15 students per class, the right teacher is with them, the door is closed, and then you breathe for the first time in four hours. Oh, 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 hang on, we forgot the picture of me up here. This is me at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, teachers doing paperwork, um, worn out because it's paperwork heavy, and then the sick call on top of all of that. So within all of this, how can an academic manager or a director of studies or a principal say, 
yes, they're getting communicative lessons. Yes, it's an interactive class. Yes, and we are absolutely delivering what we say. So you need academic consistency. And in the <coughs> past, we were placing a lot of pressure on the teachers. And I think that happens in summer centres all around the world. There's a lot of pressure on teachers. So, you know, we were, you know, explaining. So explain, train, then they don't do it, so we complain. Go, oh, God, teachers aren't doing what we say. And it's like what Liam said earlier, it's not the teacher's fault. We have to give them the materials and give them the opportunity to provide the customer service and to provide the service that we expect and that the clients expect. So we looked at the old syllabus, uh, this was two years ago, and we scrapped it, got rid of it. It was planning heavy, it was assuming a lot, it was assuming that the teachers were, you know, very, very experienced, when actually they may have a year experience or two years experience, or they might be straight off a short course. So, we revised the syllabus, we made sure it was student-centred, topic-based, but able to, you know, manoeuvre within that topic, and um, functional lessons that link directly to activities and tours, because we wanted a holistic feel to the course. We didn't want, here's your lessons, here's your tours. We wanted them to link up together. Learning outcomes in student-centred language that would actually be shared with the students, teaching outcomes to keep lessons on track and focused. So if you're a teacher who looks through the lesson plan and says, well, I've got a better idea for that, hits the outcome, perfect. And this was the key thing, full lesson plans with pronunciation, error correction, and classroom management instruction in them. So that where possible, your teacher can't go wrong. They're being helped along the way in a situation that is high stress, very, very busy. You don't get the support that you would normally get from a director of studies. You get usually very quick instructions, everything has to be done very quickly, and you're asked to perform at a very high level. Uh, and it's paper light and accessible via Dropbox. So we were trying to cut down on the cues of the photocopier and that stress of the photocopier jammed, especially if you're in one of the centres that has PCs, and projectors, uh, it's very easy to project most of the lessons and you're not uh, stressed out on a Monday morning. So how it works, and we, we wanted to make it accessible and easy for our principals and for our teachers. So it's a four week syllabus and every level, every single student on day one, week one, is doing a lesson based on their family. But that lesson, obviously, is different at A1 to at C1. So let's say you get that sick call on Thursday morning, and your cover teacher comes in with 20 minutes to spare, and you bless yourself and go, oh my god, you're absolutely amazing, thank you so much for coming in. You tell them to go to day four, week one, day four, lesson one, and the entire lesson plan is there. So within the lesson plan, you have your outcomes, you have the teacher outcomes, you have instructions from beginning to end of the lesson, and this is a paper light lesson where all the material this, the students need is this projected on the board. Everything else is student produced and functional language. This is an example of a very short, very paper light lesson, but we do have lessons that are more complicated with lots of handouts. Um, so this is a C1 science lesson, and this lesson is where students get into groups and they analyse different uh, flight devices that you can make from paper, and then they make the ones that they think are the most effective, and then they try them out, and then they report back. Um, so you can't go wrong. The teacher can't go wrong. Your cover teacher can't go wrong. Within that, you've got classroom management techniques such as, for this task, move your students around. For this task, highlight the pronunciation of the following words. When you have eight summer centres and you have uh, 5,000 students coming through your doors, it's keeping the consistency that was what we wanted. We wanted to know 
that within reason, these things are happening in each centre. And, we're, and it's no problem for teachers to, to veer off this as long as they stick to the learning outcomes and the teaching outcomes. But then what we wanted to do, because students on their phones and tours, and then they come back into the classroom, and the teacher says, what did you do on your tour? And they go, pennies. And you go, that's not, okay. <laughs> uh, or they, they've gone to Starbucks, uh, and that's all they remember of their tour. So what we did was um, designed and created the learning journal, which my beautiful assistant is now handing out. <laughs> so this was to help with solid tour preparation in lessons. Every student knows what tour they're going on, and there is written into the lesson plan 10 to 15 minutes for the students to have a look at the workbook of their upcoming tour. So they have a look at Hoth Village, and they look through the tasks and they decide these look okay or I need some help with vocabulary and the teacher helps them and then the teacher reminds them on your tour today you're going to fill in this information and then the next day they come back into class and the teacher checks it for them <coughs> we also have a reflection section at the back of my learning diary and we used to get the students to record just in copy books, but we found that they were just talking about what they ate that day, and it was kind of hard. And in a short course with teachers that you only have for a month, it's very hard to make sure that everybody is instructing the students to reflect on what they've actually learned. So again, keeping it simple, making it easy, we constructed it in a way where they have to reflect. The questions encourage reflection. And again, this is checked by the teachers, but it's not corrected. We're not correcting their grammar. This is for the students to take home, show their parents, look back on new words I learnt in lessons, new words I learnt on tour. Um, and we found that it, it increased engagement in the classroom and also on their tours. Which then linked to the ATC Junior Platform. This provides further tour information so the learner can research where they're going in class. I'm nearly there. <laughs> so the learner can, uh, the teacher instructs the learner, okay, you go to your um, tour information on your junior platform, which is on your phone, find out three interesting facts, and then report them back to the class. So the student is engaged before they go on the tour, they've done a little bit of research, it's supervised by the teacher, then they head off to the Book of Kells, and they have a little bit more buy-in into where they're going. Sending a student off to look at a book, you know, a couple of pages of a book that was written thousands of years ago, it's very hard, it's hard to get them interested, but if you can engage them somehow beforehand. We had been asking teachers to do that, but we weren't giving them the materials to do that, but now that's what they have. It also gives learners access to the learning outcomes, and this is another way that teachers can be reminded, get the students to check their learning outcome, and as I mentioned before, with um, Chris, we put that onto the lesson planning template. So they tick it off as a reminder. So it's all about helping the teachers deliver what we want them to deliver instead of just throwing them in and hoping for the best. So expectations versus reality. We expected them to use them. We expected them to fill them in. But we were really happy when they were posting on, oh, posting on Instagram. Sorry you know, how much they enjoyed it, how much they loved their learning journals. They actually, they were their prized possessions by the time they were at home. A perfectly staged Instagram picture. Uh, even when we forced them into stocks to finish the, the activities, they did it. And even when they were taking the mickey out of Renaissance paintings. So we were pretty happy with that.